Six million people experience sounds for which there's no external source. These people have tinnitus. So tinnitus is defined as a condition in which there's sounds in the person's ear where there is no external source for the sound. So thank God I don't have tinnitus, right? So let's get to the brass tacks. A big thank you to everybody that donated because I've been able to do things that I was not able to do before because of you guys. Now here I'm using a digital audio recorder that has no wireless capabilities at all. I've cut the power to my house and this is recorded with the device, recording device up to my right ear. Um, what you're going to see is a strong signal between 11 and 13,000 hertz. A very strong signal. And <clears throat> I've explained to people before that my tinnitus sounded like a, a broken internet connection or a, or a broken fax machine or possibly like electrical snow. I even said that it sounded like sleigh bells. Um, sleigh bells that you could only hear the very high end. Everything else was cut out. So actually, let's take those that idea and let's take some sleigh bells and isolate just from 10,000 hertz and above, just for a second. Now that was for no other scientific purpose other than to compare, because this is how I had been explaining it to people. Now what you're going to see here is a close-up of the the original quote-unquote tinnitus file. It's um. Uh, closer to 12, between 12 and 13,000 hertz, but it bleeds over towards um, the high 11s and up into the low 13s, depending on where it is in the file. But you can see, compared to the rest of the, the snow in the, in the spectral view, it is a very strong, strong signal. And now here's where things get beyond interesting. I took the file and I've isolated just those frequencies, uh, 11 to 13,000 hertz, I believe, and then I boosted it up. I took it and I think I boosted it up by like 20 dB, 25 dB. And now we're going to take a listen to that. Here it is. Ladies and gentlemen, I've recorded my external tinnitus. Now I'm going to drop it down many octaves. And you're going to hear that it sounds like a whooshing, almost like, uh, like a swooshing, like air hitting a microphone or wind. Um, I'm sure that many people have even heard this before. So let's give this a listen for about 10 seconds. Here we go. Now here's where shit gets fucking awesome, because as you can see here, if you look at the uh, if you look at the spectral file, I brought it down octaves into human speech range, so the meat of it is right there in the human speech range pocket, right where we talk, right where our frequencies lie, and what you're gonna hear is pretty goddamn mind blowing. So I'm gonna let this one play longer than the other ones, probably about a minute or so. So you can analyze it, reanalyze it, whatever the hell you want to do. So here we go.
what the fuck, right? Now, when I was first blasted with this, I had it 24-7, 365. But now, either it comes and goes, or the volume seems to decrease to the point where I can't hear it. And that seems to be what's going on. Um, that's one of the few symptoms I have left. I have skin issues, and I have the, this tinnitus. Tinnitus. That's not a tinnitus, because it's an external source, and I can record it. So now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to get rid of the high frequencies that are in that file, and we're going to play the same file again, but just the low end, and we're going to listen to it. So let's do that right now. What does this mean? Does it mean that we're all receiving the signal of Charlie Brown's teacher that's going on eternally? What I do know is that my tinnitus is in my ear, in my body, and external at the exact same time. So I don't have tinnitus. Okay, now we're going to take a clip, just a clip of phase three, the low end of the frequencies, and we're going to slow it down to 59% of normal speed. We'll go about 20 seconds. So check it out. I'm just sticking to the facts, and the facts are that this is not tinnitus coming from an internal source. This is a sound in people's ears coming from an external source, and it can be brought down octaves into the human speech range to show voices. 100% fact. If it's not fact, prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. The device I used was non-wireless. Non-wireless. So there's no crosstalk whatsoever. There was no power on in my house. You know, a lot of trolls used to come to my videos and say, hey, that's just crosstalk. You should, you should research it, dumbass. You know, shit like that. I've been doing audio for years and years and years. And these signals have gotten so bad that I can't even do clean audio anymore. I'm going to have to invest in something that cleans my electrical signal up. To the point where I can actually record decent audio. I can't even record decent audio with my voice. It sounds like shit, no matter what I do. So anyway, these trolls were out for blood until I showed that I was recording these things with um, handy cams and other non-wireless um, recording devices. And then they just vanished. And then you, you wouldn't even hear from them again. Gone. So don't, don't just blow this off. This is a huge deal. A huge deal. What have we proven today? We've proven that the whole you have typical tinnitus theory is absolute bullshit. We've proven that these signals have speaking in them, and that's 100% fact. And we've proven that these are not typical RF waves, where they can be brought down to human speech. This is a big deal. We've blown the whole tinnitus thing out of the water. Lots of people hear different things as well. When they're first hit, some people uh, hear a, what they explain as a, a 
well, like a muscle car or a diesel engine idling down the street. Sounds like it's far away. I'm going to show you something amazing that I found with that. Um, I'll, hopefully I'll make a video about it as soon as possible. But don't blow this off. Listen to it again. And I'm going to end this with the entire file of the isolated low-end frequencies. Just going to let it play. So if you want to download the audio to it, you can and analyze it yourself. Whatever you want to do. So thanks for watching. And uh, thanks to everybody that's donated. You've made things possible that I couldn't do before. Um, moving ahead. So here's the file in its entirety.